Hello again, all you webmasters out there. Um, so this tutorial is going to talk you through getting a YouTube video into Final Sight, and this is called an embed. When you embed a video, technically this will work with almost any video streaming site, um, but since you all have a YouTube channel or a YouTube account through the district, uh, that's probably the most opportune route that you're going to want to go. And by the way, there are other tutorials that will walk you through putting these into Final Sight, which is totally fine. Um, just keep in mind that since you have a YouTube account, if you were to ever post those somewhere else, it might be a little easier for you to do so through YouTube. Um, but again, totally up to you. So anyhow, first step is you want to find the page where you want to put this. In this case, I'm on Linda Vista Elementary. I'm going to go to their About page, and they have a YouTube video, or I should say a video that they posted to YouTube that they would like on this page. So, and that I just happen to have open over here. Now, back in Final Sight, what you're going to want to do is, number one, turn on the Compose mode so that you're, you're in this view. Figure out where exactly you want to put this. In this case, I'm, it's a real simple page. They've only got one content box here, and they want it right underneath there. So I'm going to click on Add Element. Make sure before you do anything up here at the top, you, do, you choose whether you want this above or below whatever element you just clicked on. So in this case, I want it below, which is already selected. And because it's a video on YouTube, I'm going to choose the one that's called Embed, which notice it's under Standard. So again, Below, Standard, and then Embed. So that gives you another box looks pretty similar to any other content box we've created. But you can either just click on it once or click on the gear over here. And this is going to give you a very small uh, just text box. You notice it's not like um, the bo content boxes we've worked with in the past. This is you're going to copy and paste your code over there. The nice thing about embed code is that you don't really need to understand a whole lot about it to be able to use it. So when you're on any video, in this case YouTube, you're going to try and find this share button. And when you click on the share button, you notice one of those options is embed. So I'm going to go to embed, and it's got a lot of code in there. Now, if you understand what this is or want to understand, we can cover that in new tu another tutorial. But for now, you just got to know that you need to copy it. So you can either right-click and copy. You can click down at the bottom where it says copy. Notice there's not a lot of options here. Uh, you can tell it to start at a specific point if you want. And you can decide whether you want to show or hide um, player controls, but that's totally up to you. One reason, by the way, this is a good idea is if you want to have YouTube create your closed captioning for you, which is good for ADA compliance. So I would suggest you keep this on, show player controls. And again, we're going to copy that. And then we go over into Final Sight and Paste. It's as easy as that. So once I paste it, again, it's just code. We don't really need to understand what it is. And click on Save, and voila. You now have your video embedded from YouTube. So if you change something on the YouTube end, it will reflect here. Now, you notice um, a couple of little tips here for you. Notice that number one, it says embed. And the reason why is because that's the name of the content block. If you want to change that, again, click on the edit element gear. And you can either change it. So in this case, maybe we're going to call it school promotion video or and then click on Save, that will change the title of that box. Or maybe you don't need or want that title, so you can just turn that off. And once you turn it off, it will hide the Final Sight title, but it will keep the video title from YouTube. The only other thing that would be good to know is about the size. Now, if I were to put this into, say, a two-column layout, you can notice here it's bigger than half the box, meaning it's going to be bigger than the two column layout, but it will automatically constrain itself to the size of that box. In this case, because it's larger than the video, that's not the case. If you know what you're doing, or if you want to play around, you can change the height and width here. Um, this gets a little sticky, just FYI, because let's say that I change my width to 100%. Now, that will certainly make the video 100%, but notice now it doesn't show the whole thing top to bottom. Well, you can't enter 100% for the height in Final Sight either, as nice as that would be. So now you're playing the guessing game, meaning you're going to have to start entering other numbers until it looks right. However, keep in mind that this is the web, meaning as soon as somebody else is on a different device or a different size screen, those pixels are going to be different. So in this case, Probably just keep it as is and then let them worry from there.
So I hope that helps everybody. We'll talk to you next time.